Okay, we're here today to learn about attack dog training suits. So Sean, what have we got here today? Well, we brought a couple pieces of equipment. Um, obviously, this is one of our dogs, uh, protection dogs, Cami. She is a Belgian Malinois. And obviously, you don't want to get bit by her without some sort of protection. Neither do I. So we obviously have to have something that we can use. The challenge is, obviously, a bad guy's not going to wear this suit. So eventually, we're going to do some different things to get them off of the suit so that it seems more realistic, so that we know in those moments that they're going to actually do the protection work that we want them to do. But until then, when we're training, we obviously need to have some protection. Now, if you if you watch the way that she kind of attacks this, yes. So you'll see she kind of thrashes her head. And so just like any other animals when they do a kill, Kemi, out, they thrash their heads because that's how they genetically, instinctively have done it for thousands, millions of years. That's how they kill. So uh, when they bite us, they do the same thing. So you watch a police canine bites a guy while the dog's biting him, he thrashes his head around and her teeth are pretty sharp. It does a lot of damage. So when we're training, we want to just be sure that we're very careful. These are, they're not too thick. They're probably about an inch, maybe inch and a half thick. And they provide, so it's got this, uh, the surface that they, t they can't get their teeth through. And then it has padding because as well as the sharp teeth, they have compression. And she's actually a wimp compared to some of our, we have big male protection dogs that are much larger than her. They bite much harder and they, they have much more compression than she does. With her, it's, the compression is not that big of a deal, but some of our males, like it, like just even through the padding, you feel that pressure on your arm and it kind of takes your breath away. You're like, man, I just can't even imagine what that would be like without the protection. So, um, so that's why we use protection. Obviously, we want to keep everybody safe. We want to have fun. Uh, Cami is very equipment oriented. She has never been trained without the equipment. So if I tell her, Cami, attack. She's going to go straight for, she, like she doesn't know what to do because she goes straight for the equipment, but nobody's wearing the equipment, so she doesn't know what to do. Right. If I was wearing the suit, she would go right after. If I show her the suit, attack. Then, but she's very equipment oriented. So she's a sport dog. She has not actually done the personal protection training where she will bite someone without the gear on. Cami, come here. Out. Couché. But uh, she absolutely loves to do the work. Yeah, if you want to if you want you can put your arm in that so we'll kinda, i'm the dummy today we'll kind of show you so this is just so where this, did you get this this is actually a leg sleeve um my uh my business partner david broderick he actually does all the protection stuff he actually does all the ordering i i, I don't know where he gets them from okay. but he gets them from all over the place the suits we get from europe so these are custom made. We get them from Europe. They're shipped over to us. But um, so this is actually a leg sleeve. So normally you would put this on a leg. It'd be on your leg. I like to use a leg sleeve as an arm sleeve uh, too because it's just lots of protection. So she is really good at targeting. She's not gonna miss. She's gonna absolutely hit the equipment every time. Okay. Like she's never once ever missed on anybody. It's totally safe dog to work with. And so you, you'll be super protected. Just go ahead and hold this. And I'm gonna tell her to attack and she's just gonna go for it. Okay, attack. I'm ready for this. Oh. Good girl, good. <laughs> yeah, and, I can see why you wanna sleep. <laughs> and they, they're, so they are very, like this is, none of this is aggression. This is all fun. Cammy, out. So this is, to them, you're just a big tug toy. Am I that's, a tug that's toy? That's what she sees you as. There's no anger. Go ahead and pet her. Kemi, come here. Come say hi. Good girl. Good. She's a little leery just because she wants to be biting. Yeah. She's, you see, there we go. Like, she's like, wait a minute. If you're petting me, I can't be biting. So she's just a little weird because she wants to be biting. That's what yeah. she wants to do. But like, there's no aggression. It's all fun. And we start this as a, at a very young age with our puppies. They start biting onto different toys. We start teaching them the grip to chase the toy, to bite, to hold the toy, and then to out when we want them to out. So, uh, you know, as early as six weeks old, we're getting them to chase toys kind of like this. So we would, uh, we would have somebody in a harness and then we'd have one person teasing them and they're snapping at it, getting more excited and more frustrated and wanting to bite it until we finally let them in and then they can bite it. Yes, good girl. So that's basically how we, we teach that. Then this, 
is part, it's, this is half of a full suit. So we have the bottom two, we have the pants that go with it. And for us doing person, or for our competition dogs, we actually, they will do these 100 meter sprints to go get the, 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 the bad guy or the person who's playing the bad guy in the competition. And it's interesting because in some of the sports, the, uh, the decoy tries to get away from the dog. So the dog, so if you can imagine the dog's coming in at 40 miles an hour, if the dog jumps, then it's pretty easy to avoid the dog. Because you see, like, so you'll see people that train dogs for upper body, the dogs will jump from 15 feet back, 20 feet back, because they're going so fast. And then the decoy just goes, and the dog flies past and they take off running. So um, we train them to go for the legs first so that they're not jumping in the air and they're much more likely to get that decoy because the decoy is going to try to get away from them. Um, pretty much the way we train our dogs is, other than that situation, it's whatever is exposed, like whatever they can get to first. Other than, they, our dogs will go for what is where the equipment is at, but if there's full body equipment, like whatever they can get a hold of first is what we want them to bite. Once they bite, we want them to hold it and to not let go, Kenny, get it, get it, come here. So um, out, if you watch when she bites, we want her to just hold it. Like she's gonna thrash around, shake her head, but we want her to hold that bite, not let go and then bite again, attack. The girl. So you see, she's just, she's going to keep holding it. And that, that, that's just one bite. Like that's, so that's one of the problems that like for a law enforcement dog, they get one bite. Like the dog can't just bite and go, oh, now I want to bite him up here. Now I want to bite him over here. Those are lawsuits. So we train them that once you bite, that's it. You get one bite. You don't let go and bite different places. So these are all things that it's, we work with them at a very young age to be able to, to do that, to hold that one bite, to not let go, to just have a nice, firm, full mouth grip. So that's all the things that we're looking for in competition dogs and, and in our, our personal protection dogs. Uh, do you want to put on the top? Sure, I'll put it on the top. Or do you want to send her to attack me? Which would you Let's attack do? him. What do okay. you think? I think we should attack him. All right, let's do this. So while he's getting so, ready, if you haven't oh. met Sean before on my channel, Sean, this is Sean Knudsen with Innovative Canine Academy. And we are so lucky to have him here. He trains Belgian Malinois. Yes. And you actually sell some very high-end attack dogs. We do, yep. That go to protect people. Yeah, so they... Uh... The, you know, anybody who are pretty much, I mean, they're, they're from 60 to $100,000. So pretty much a higher end clientele. Um, you know, we've sold them to uh, a, a model in uh, New York City that just wanted some protection when she was walking around New York and, and some businessmen that are gone and they want protection for their kids and their wife. Like just a lot of different clients that, uh, but yeah, the, and the thing about them, they, they will do everything the police dogs do except they'll be friendly and sweet and gentle with kids, safe with kids. Like you can send them out to play with all the neighborhood kids and they're, they're totally fine. So uh, I'm, I'll have you, let's have you come maybe right here. So tell her, say avec to her. Okay, Cami, avec. Maybe we'll do, uh, we'll do, we'll have her protect you first. So she's gonna track me and she's gonna, she'll let me come up to you like, I can come up, we can shake hands. As long as I'm nice, she's gonna just totally, she's gonna pay attention to me, but she's not gonna attack me. She's gonna track where I go. And, and I'm not buttoning the whole thing up. because cool, she, huh? she's, she like is, so, yeah, you can walk anywhere. She's just gonna stay with you. And uh, like, she's just gonna do, not gonna do anything unless once I come into, uh, like I'm gonna hurt you. Okay. So, good. Good. So I acted like I was gonna punch you, and then she attacked me. Cammy, out. So go ahead and tell her again. Cammy, avec. Good. So now this time, um, maybe. How's this right here? Is that pretty good? Trying to make sure we're gonna stay in frame. Okay. This is pretty when cool. When you're ready, just say a t t a c k. Ah, 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 back. She's a little excited. Yeah, she's very excited. Cammy, attack. Yeah. 
Good. Good. Ooh, I can feel that one. She got my arm. Ooh, pretty good on that one. I was making fun of her. Now she's angry. She's getting some compression. All right, when you're ready, say your name and tell her to come. Cammy, come. Out. Come here. Uh -uh. Cammy, out. Good. There you, there you go. go. Good. Go ahead and pet her. Good Let girl. Her good job. Yeah, good girl. Oh, she's still tracking you. Yeah, she's oh, yeah. got that she, suit on. She, so she's actually retired. Uh, she actually doesn't even, we don't train with her. She just does demos once in a while. So like she'll be a little bit sloppy with when she wanted to, oh, I get to go bite. Um, so she's eight years old. She hasn't been trained in probably, it's probably been three years since she's really done any training. But she obviously retains everything and she's fun to work with. So she just gets to play around and do demos. Yeah, so. she's really good. But that's, that's why we have the equipment obviously and uh, that's what we expect of our our dogs that just that they're going to be very social very confident uh, very friendly but be able to go do the work when the when the time comes that they're going to be able to do the protection so tell me i know that you breed as well yes. so for any breeders out here that are interested in getting into attack dogs what would you tell them so for us you know we want them to be you know, any dog that we breed, we're gonna obviously do health testing, temperament testing. Uh, generally, most of them are gonna be, for us, national and world champion dogs. And so there's a rigorous process for us to make sure that they're suitable to be protection dogs. And then, you just never know. Yeah. We had two, there was uh, two national champions, amazing dogs on paperwork, they should have been amazing. And the litter just, I mean, they weren't terrible, they just weren't, what we had hoped and right. what we expected out of these two dogs We're like well whatever reason that the genes just weren't great and so um you know we we're always looking to see what are we actually producing are they as good as we want do we need to adjust some things like do, do we need some more of this like because with us we get some dogs that are just crazy just like just nuts and then some dogs are more intellectual and so sometimes we can bring those two together and get a nice mix of a dog that just very intellectual, think things through with some of that courage and some of that craziness that comes from that other line. So um, that's, that's what we're looking for is just the best trainability, confidence, social ability, uh, health, athleticism, all of these things kind of combined into a you know, the perfect Belgian Malinois is what we're after. Yeah, and if someone wanted to find you on the internet or, you know, get a dog trained by you, how would they find you? It's uh, just innovativecanineacademy.com. Okay. And then uh, High Caliber uh, Protection Dogs is our protect, they, they, we work together with both of them. You can find one through Innovative, but our, it's uh, just in, our High Caliber Protection Dogs is our Ours our protection page so okay yeah thanks so much for sean coming out we are so lucky to have him here with us today and uh you'll be seeing him in our other videos so thanks for coming and we'll talk to you guys next time <laughs>